Hey guys, we're back again. Streamhydrogenlabs.com Seems to be having a little trouble with this new cell. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Got a lot of neutral plates in it. Sorry, I'm kind of floundering around here. It's kind of interesting thing. Remember right? Well, it's total 15 plates. Break it up. Um, there was. Let's see. One, two, three, four. There's four and four. There's four positive, four negative, and that would leave. Let's see. I flunked mathematics. So that would be out of a 15 plate system. Well, whatever, you can figure that out. I don't care about that right now. Um, this thing's not putting out like I planned. It's not doing good at all. You all might think it does by the previous video. But it certainly doesn't put out like the extreme so without a single neutral plate at all. And it probably contradicts some things I've said in the past. So when I go to build a plate system like this, and this works out the way it does, it, it kind of POs me. So what I did, well, we got us a little muffin fan going on here. And I'll tell you, a good brand name is this Boxer. These Boxers really kick it out. Anyways, I wired up a bridge rectifier. I was going to put it on a dimmer switch to just control the voltage to it, but I had a heck with it. We got our voltage meter. We're holding about 1.1 volts in there. These bubbles. These bubbles just will not go away on this plate system. So anyways, we're going to hit her with 100 volts DC through the bridge rectifier. No electrolyte. Here we go. You can probably hear that fan drag down. 99.7 volts. 99.8. Might as well say 100 volts. Let me look. And yeah, we're producing. I mean, there's actually a pretty steady flow, surprisingly enough. I'm not sure what the water temperature is. Um, that I only have that one good meter, so I can't monitor both at the same time. Uh, we will be getting another meter here in the future. I just, you know, you run out of money on this stuff. I spent thousands, just thousands. But she's she's doing something. No electrolyte at all. I don't have an amp meter that goes up that high, so I can't tell you what's going on. I don't plan on doing too much testing like this, but I was just curious. Everybody else playing with Variax and so on and so forth, but and nothing against anyone. But what good is a Variax? for me. That's why I just went to Radio Shack and I spent oh well I don't know just a few dollars. Can't find the package or I'd show you. But you know what's interesting it said up to 50 volts and for some reason it's putting out 99.5 volts right now doesn't make much sense. I know I have it wired correctly. Four wires. It's got a diagram. Now, we're going to add a little sodium hydroxide here. See what happens. Just add 
this a little pinch. See what goes on for production. Like I said again, no meter of any type to monitor this. Kind of sucks, but we'll know if it does any good if we see some production. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end up pulling the neutral plates out of this. Possibly half of them. I'm not happy with this cell at all. And you know, like I said, we're running a hundred volts right now, DC. I know it's DC. It says it right there. DC, bottom left corner. We're getting down there. And I'm starting to wonder if we're overheating on this bridge. It's getting kind of warm. Well, let's see. We got some production going on. Look at the voltage drop all of a sudden. I got a feel up. Here we go. Uh, I think we're getting ready to blow a circuit breaker. You know what? Yep, there it went. Well, so much for that test. We'll be back. We'll perfect it. We'll figure something out. But, well, I guess shit. Oh, excuse my mouth. That's about all I have to say about that one. That was a bust.